Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are going to be talking about leveling, specifically in World of Warcraft. Uh, we're going to talk about the best way to level. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple options, um, which pretty much everyone's going to say there's only two, but there's like three or four different ways you can do it. Uh, but I'm also going to give you an idea of what is the truly fastest way to do it. Um, but it's going to depend on really how your play style is and what you like to do. So uh, the general terms of leveling is you either have instances where you go into the dungeons and you do the instances and just power grind those nonstop, or you go in through questing, um, and that is definitely another option that you can take. Um, one is basically you're questing by yourself the whole time. The other is uh, doing instances. Uh, I think there's a third option you could call it is kind of a combination of both where you do questing and then you do instances and you do questing and then instances and jump back and forth a little bit uh, trying to minimize how many zones you have to go to how far over the world you are. Um, and then the fourth thing we're going to talk about in general is going to be <coughs> Um, the fastest of fastest ways, um, it's actually a add-on that you're going to see, um, and it's not sponsored or anything, but it's called, uh, Azeroth Autopilot. Uh, you can see it right here for classic for one to 60. Um, we'll talk about that more here in a little bit, uh, but it is truly the fastest way to level, uh, and uh, it's a little boring though, so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. So first things first, um, uh, as you can see, these are my characters I have on my screen right now, but I wanna take you guys in um, and just talk about one of the, the couple of options that you have. Um, that's part of the reason I have my face cam up for this tutorial is because I'm gonna go into actually a live game and so the chat is gonna be kind of slightly buried so that we don't have anything crazy happen in chat because we all know how that goes. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, I'm gonna jump in on my druid first off. Um, and just have a conversation about that one really quick. So um, I'm leveling this druid right now. Um, he is on the Azeroth autopilot um, progression path, and so we're going to do that. Um, but overall, the way you can do it, and one of the most common ways that people take the first, I would say, solid 20, 25 levels uh, is questing, where you go through, you quest, you go to your dungeons, um, you get your first quests within your starter zone. Uh, so if we pull open the map right now, you can see I started in Tendrasil. You're going to start out in Shadow Glen, finish all those quests, then you're going to head outside uh, Tedrasil, uh, do all the quests in there, and then you're going to ship yourself down to Darkshore, do quests in there, and then normally move possibly into uh, Ashenvale. Um, you can see it's from 19 to 30, um, and then from there you can kind of digress to where you want to go. You can go do different things, such as coming down here to the... <clears throat> to the barons and all that kind of fun stuff and you can jump around or you can go to the other side of the islands start doing quests over there in westfall dark shore darkshire all that kind of fun stuff um and, and power questing up now um there's a lot of inefficiency within questing um but if you're trying to level professions at the exact same time um it's really helpful to be doing questing specifically because you're always running around you're grabbing those profession items you're going to make them uh you're going to get them so with with that part being said um it definitely helps in that nature uh, and then you're going to grab all the quests uh, for um, all those things and just keep questing through them. Uh, but it is very solo. It's very boring. Uh, and certain specs can't quest alone very well. So prot warriors, uh, rogues have some issues questing by themselves early on. Um, most of that's because of the melee and having the ability to where you're using two one-handeds and when you're using two one-handeds you need a really high hit rate versus like a two-handed or something like that. Um, classes such as mages, uh, druids, warlocks have a lot more ease doing the questing line just because you've got a lot of things to help you out. You've got a lot of people helping you and it's really simple to go through it and do that stuff. Um, with that being said, the next option you have is actually going through dungeons. So basically what you do is in that situation, um, you almost immediately, <coughs> um, I don't suggest it with druids. Um, I highly actually discourage it with druids because druids you get you want to start on this side and you want to stay on this side of the map um and that's more specifically because you need to do a lot of quests within moonglade jump back and forth um you got to do your go to your trainers all the time and they're not as um spread out as they are for the other ones uh, or not uh, and all that fun stuff and all the dungeons for the early levels around the other side of the map and then obviously coming back over here for the mid 40s and all that kind of fun stuff uh, but when we talk about dungeons we're talking about basically you go through your initial quests you do your starter zone whether you're in iron forge or stormwind you do your starter zone and right outside ellen forest right here you get through there you get to westfall and then you just start power leveling dead mines dead mine starts at about level 15 to 16 if you've got some uh buddies that'll run you you can run that on for about 10 levels uh, but the catch with uh, instance leveling is you kind of need to have a group to do it so if you've ever watched some of the people that go on um, 
on streaming and they power leveled uh, when the game first came out. They went right to the instances, but they had a group of five running it the whole time where they knew what they were doing and they were just powering it through. Um, because the problem that happens is the mobs that die in there are going to be at the exact same experience as those that are outside in the world. So by killing one of those, it's almost the same experience as killing a regular mob. Um, the p catch is, though, if you can do instances a lot faster, you can probably power level a lot quicker because you're just murdering stuff over and over. Plus, you're getting gear, so you're getting stronger, and then murdering things over and over, and it's just a lot faster. Then you can just jump right to the next one. Um, from there, you can go um, wherever you want to go. Um, I like to use Atlas, actually, um, for that one. Sorry, I need to move this really quick. Um, so we can open up Atlas Loot. Sorry. Once I find it, there it is. Um, and Atlas Loot is fantastic because it tells you what levels you can do things. So as we said, uh, Devil Den Mines is about 17. You can go a little bit earlier if you've got a good um, guild mates. Then you can start powering and leveling that for quite a while. Uh, it even tells you where the break is. So if you see here, uh, it says it kind of caps out at 26. So you kind of want to shift out of there a little bit sooner. Um, you can start going to SFK, uh, Shadow Fane Keep, and then move into like No More Gone, um, which is not the best. Stockades is terrible for instancing. I highly recommend you don't do that. Uh, and then moving into the Scarlet Monasteries, power leveling through there, then into Oldman's Lopharic Meridon, uh, and to Sunken Temple, aka the Temple of Al Atal Hakar, uh, and then the Spires and all that kind of fun stuff in the depths. Um, and then getting you all the way through 60. And so there's a lot of people do that way, and then they get geared out on top of it. And so they've got a lot of joy, and, and they enjoy that, and they get to play with their friends, and it's a lot more uh, communicative and stuff like that. Uh, however, it's still not the fastest way. I do think it is faster than standard leveling, but that's with a big caveat of you need to have a consistent five people running dungeons over and over and over and over and over and over and, over, and they want to do it all time at the same time you do. Um, otherwise, you're going to get stuck doing quests at the exact same time. So there's kind of that double-edged sword where you want to go do quests, but you need to do dungeoning. And if you have five people, they're going to do it nonstop. And it's how fast you do the dungeons. That's most important when you're running dungeons. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and talk about the third one that I spoke about, which is both. Um, this is the one that I always recommend to people because I feel like um, it works better. Uh, and this is the one that's going to help you with professions. Um, if you're trying to level up your first character that you need professions on, um, you're not trying to get to 60 right away, and you're trying to go and get everything leveled up, the best way to do it is to honestly do questing with instances. This basically means you go through, you do your power leveling early on, you get all the quests gathered, all of them gathered for the dead mines. As soon as you have all the quests for dead mines, you can pull those up through WoW Wiki. You go ahead and run the dead mines. You run it one time. It's not about the gear, it's about the quests. You run it the one time, you get the experience out of it, you turn all those quests in, you get a whole pile of experience for that on top of it, and then you move on to questing again until you get the next pile of quests for the next dungeon that you're going to run, whether it's stockades, no more gone, or whatever it is. You do that dungeon you power out all those quests and then you move on <clears throat> um, and that's how you do it now with that being said we've talked about questing twice and we really haven't talked specifically about the best way to do questing and the reason I haven't is because I'm gonna go ahead and explain what I use on this character specifically um, and so I need to do that I'm gonna go ahead and turn on that add-on specifically so we're gonna jump into add-ons we're gonna scroll down click Azeroth autopilot and reload UI so with that being said Azeroth autopilot is a straight questing thing it's gonna do that and you can see it running up in the top left corner um, it's doing all kinds of fun stuff <clears throat> oh I didn't mean to do that that sucks I'll have to re redo this um, and reload it um, that's fine I can redo it later uh, but basically, in a nutshell, I have to go. It tells you where to go, what quest to do, um, and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, but what it does is it groups the quest that you're going to do. So <clears throat> specifically, what it's going to do, it's going to have me come up here. I'm going to do this quest. I'll probably end up doing this quest for the Den Mother. I'll turn on this quest, grab this quest, grab this quest, get all this stuff, and get all of it. Now, I've already done the immediate circle ones for Aberdeen. And then once I finish these, it'll probably tell me to Hearth. And then come back to Aberdeen and go ahead and uh, do it again. And then I'll grab the quest. And then I'll probably come down this way, go back to Aberdeen, turn everything on. And then I'll move down. So what it does is it removes the inefficiency that we have when we are questing. So the biggest thing that we all do is we grab skills every two levels. Um, we kind of grab our quests and say, okay, that's a good quest I have. I'm going to go do those all. And then they run around and do them all. And then they come back and do them. Well, there's actually every quest 
section has a section and you can get them all if you do the quests in the right order and then you can just smash up that whole section um, and get all those quests done go back turn them in get like a full level off quest turn ins then go back out and do it again um, and you're not wasting the time where you're doing all this extra running around um, so with me sitting on this character right now um, I just want to go ahead and kind of give you an idea of what's happening so I've got nine hours played on this account right now um, and that's all I have on it. It's level 16 and a half at this point. Um, you can see it's 45% right here. Um, and that is on just straight me playing this one. Um, and it's 16 and a half and that's nine hours played on it to kind of give you an idea. And that's with me having some AFK time because I do play it, um, around when my, uh, watch my son and stuff. Um, and then this is an account that I actually I leveled on my own. I did not do anything crazy with it. I did a little bit of instance grinding on it um, and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do slash played. Uh, and you're going to see I already have 23 hours on this account. So and this is only level 19. So with that being said, that means instead of having nine hours to get to 16, so I'm, only, I'm almost 17. So I'm only two levels behind this account, two and a half. We'll just say we'll just we'll just be two and a half just to be safe. And I have another what 14 hours before I catch up to this one in time play just time played alone so it removed 14 I would say it's probably gonna take me about another three or four hours um, to go ahead and remove that um, as you see Eagles messaging right now um, and what's gonna be as I said it's gonna take about another four hours maybe for me to catch up to this account so you're talking about 10 hours saved just from using this add-on now let me be clear though, it is extremely boring and you're by yourself. You're literally going out, quest, 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 running around, killing, 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 killing. You almost have to have, get yourself extra bags because you're out for almost an hour doing quests. And then you go back and sometimes they'll tell you to kill yourself. Sometimes they'll tell you, um, especially early on when you're before level 10, you can't get uh, res sickness. Uh, I'll tell you when to hearth. So what I tell people is if you're going to use this add-on, and again, it's called Azeroth Autopilot. I will link it down in the description. Um, if you're going to use it, make sure when you do use your hearth, if you are going to go back out and quest, make sure you have an hour to do it. Otherwise, you don't have a hearth, you're running back and you're just wasting time. Um, and it really works well. It's great for a second character because you can just send a bunch of bags to it. Um, and it works out really, really well for yourself. Um, and it's going to help you out in the long run. So... Um, Overall, that's the fastest way to level. Um, this, However, there is one catch to this. You're not going to have professions, so your professions are going to be terrible on there. Uh, on top of it, you are not going to be doing any dungeons, so your gear is going to be pretty basic. Um, so I would highly recommend right at the end going ahead and doing some smaller dungeons with people uh, so that you can make sure you get a little bit of gear so you don't suck so much. Um, but that is the fastest way to get to 60. Um, beyond talking about mages specifically, I'm not going to go into one specific class and one specific scenario, um, but basically mages have the fastest way to do it. So if you play mages, you want to figure that one out, you can go check out the world first. Uh, basically, he just AoE'd a bunch of mobs for hours on end um, and that is the fastest way to do it if you can do it as mage but no one else can really do that other than mages so i hope that helps you on your way uh, if you have more questions you can leave them down in the comments down below also don't forget that i stream uh, pretty regularly world of warcraft and we do do um, uh, molten core uh, on uh, the weekends on sundays and tuesdays so make sure you come check out those raids but that's going to do it for this episode i hope you all have a fantastic day and we see you on the next episode of lemur's corner